What do you think about Scribe Halen? Scribe Halen? Why? Is something wrong with her? No, not at all. Halen's doing well. I simply wanted to talk to you about her, but I wanted to know what you thought of her first. She's as dedicated as they come. Real team player. I couldn't agree more, but I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. As a person? It's not like you to ask me something like that. No, it's not. The truth is, I'm worried about her. Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it, to get your honest opinion. I appreciate that you value my opinion so highly. Tell me what's on your mind. Let me explain everything from the beginning. A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that knight's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers so he could die with dignity. Even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life, she injected him without question. She did the right thing. Of course she did. But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. The point is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Right then, it hit me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I ordered her to ignore her instincts, to do something her medical training told her was wrong. That's why I'm worried about her, and for that matter, everyone under my command. Halen will be fine. It's you that I'm worried about. Me? I see what you're getting at. I guess I never thought of it that way. Look, four soldiers. Over half of my team are gone. Each one of them died because of decisions that I made. I understand the risks that come with the job. We all do. But how can anyone have confidence in me anymore? Hell, how can I have confidence in myself? Would it make you feel better if I told you that I believed in you? Actually, it does. Well, looks like things have taken a turn. I signed up to be your sponsor, so I teach you everything that I know. But it looks like I'm the one that needed the lesson today. All joking aside, I'm pleased that we had this discussion. And with all the problems you're facing, you still took the time to listen. It's comforting to know that I can speak to you as more than just your commanding officer. Does this mean you'd be there to hold me if I ever needed it? I hardly think that would be appropriate, soldier. I don't want my moment with Halen to give you the wrong idea. We're strictly friends. Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my shoulders. I think it's been weighing on me more than I realized. I'm only sorry you had to see me at my worst, instead of at my best. <laughs>